Welcome to another video that shows you how to utilize a number of powerful features of AirMic Pro. In this video, we'll show you how to connect your AirMic Pro to various equipment such as cameras, smartphones, and your computer, how to clip it onto the body for optimal use, and how to take advantage of its advanced features like noise cancellation and gain settings. AirMic Pro comes with a variety of accessories to connect to numerous devices. Let's start with connecting your AirMic Pro to a phone. First, connect your AirMic Pro receiver to a smartphone using the appropriate adapter for your device. Plug the receiver into your phone's appropriate port, usually the same one used for charging, and you're ready to capture crystal clear audio from one or both of the two included transmitters. For digital cameras, simply connect the receiver to the camera's microphone input using the provided 3.5 mm TRS cable. Ensure the receiver is securely attached to the camera's shoe mount for stable recording. Connecting to a PC or Mac is just as easy. Use the USB adapter to connect the receiver on your computer's USB port. This allows you to use the AirMic Pro for video calls, podcasts, and other recordings directly from your computer. Now let's see how to clip the mic onto your body using the magnetic clip. The magnetic clip allows you to easily attach the mic to your clothing. Place the magnetic back behind your shirt or jacket and position the mic on the front, pointed up around six inches from your mouth. The collar or chest is usually a good spot. This ensures a secure fit and optimal sound capture. The AirMic Pro also comes with advanced noise canceling features and adjustable gain settings. Let's take a look at how to use these. On the receiver's OLED touchscreen, you can activate the noise canceling feature to reduce background noise, which will provide clearer audio and avoid clipping. There are several preset settings we can access by swiping on the receiver. If you're new to working with microphones, Clipping is a form of audio distortion that occurs when an amplifier is overdriven and attempts to deliver an output voltage or current beyond its maximum capability. You'll know you're clipping or close to clipping when you see orange or red on the output signal on the receiver. If this occurs, you'll want to try reducing gain a bit so you just see green and you'll want to maintain the signal level that peaks just before any signs of clipping are seen on the receiver or audible distortion occurs. To avoid clipping, you may also want to work with noise canceling settings. Let's take a look at the AirMic Pro and see what happens in this loud environment with no noise canceling enabled. So while this blender is making a bunch of noise, I'll go ahead and apply the noise cancellation. And now with noise cancellation enabled. Now with the noise cancellation applied, you should be able to hear me clearly uh, while the noise cancellation suppresses all the background noise that the blender is making. You can see and hear that when we enable noise cancellation, a lot of the background noise was removed and that helps to avoid clipping or unwanted audio distortion as well. Finally, if you prefer using a standard lavalier mic, you can easily connect it to the AirMic Pro transmitter. Simply plug the lavalier mic into the transmitter's 3.5 mm input. This allows you to use your preferred mic while still benefiting from the AirMic Pro's wireless capabilities and advanced features. With these simple steps, you can connect your AirMic Pro to a variety of devices, clip it on for optimal use, and take full advantage of its advanced features. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials to help you get the most out of your AirMic Pro and visit iconproaudio.com to learn more.